Ah, you came back. Oh, I'm so happy. I'm glad, you know, I'm really glad. I thought no one was going to come back. I thought people weren't going to be that bothered, but you're here. Right, so you want to know more. As you remember, last week I said, hey, I'm going to open an online record shop. And I said that this week, I'm going to tell you more. So here I am telling you more. Things have actually moved pretty quickly. I'm not going to lie to you. I'm pretty sure I've got a name. I've already started buying records. I have this mini slinky which is really helping through the whole kind of stress and thinking about things. So I guess the big question is, why are you doing it? I know I touched on it a little bit last week, but why are you really, why Record Shop? Why is this idea stuck with you? And I guess the big answer is, um, I'm, I just I quite like music. Like if you actually know me, if you've met me in like real life, you probably know that like music tends to be my bag, innit? And I've always wanted to have something to do with music as a career or something. And I've got that, which is quite fun. I work on the radio in case you didn't notice. This is going to sound really ridiculous, but I've always been a big fan of collections. I've always been a big fan of libraries. I've always been a big fan of actually having music, like being able to stream music for your phone. It's good. It's brilliant. It's amazing. I can listen to music from wherever in the world, yeah, but it's it doesn't quite grasp me as much as, you know, say something like an actual physical record does, you know? Talk more about this one in a bit. So, so I've always liked collections, I've always liked that physical side of music, and so naturally, I kind of got into collecting records, isn't it? Obviously, to build up music collections, you need to buy records, and you know, you can do it one way, you can just go on Amazon and click, yeah, go, and it arrives the same day, or whatever, or you can actually go to a real shop, whether it's in person or online, and go to someone who really cares about music. They might, won't have as much as Amazon, uh, it may not be as cheap, but they really care about it, and they can help you with, um, they can help you with, if you like this type of music, then, oh, you might like this record, or if you kind of really hated that last one, then you might like this next one, blah, 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 and introduce you to new stuff, much better than any algorithm from Spotify can do. And every time I went to some of my favorite record shops, whether it was online or in person, I just thought, oh, this is so cool. I want to be able to do this. And then I thought, actually, I, I know a bit about music. I could do this. So here I am going to try and do this. Now, you might be looking at your little phone screen thinking, hang on, Rob, man, you're getting way ahead of yourself. You haven't even got any records yet. Yeah, I do. I've got a few. Do you want to see them? Okay, well, this desk is too small to showcase them all, so um, I don't normally do this, not until about the third or fourth day, but um, do you want to come to bed? All right, so... <laughs> Hang on, I just need to preface this with something. Um, I'm gonna start off with secondhand old records because they're quite easy to get. You can just go on Gumtree or eBay or whatever, or like the local paper, and you can just pick them up and then like sell them on um just to kind of get myself just to like get myself like sorted like foot in the door kind of vibes and then i've already started looking up um how to get like new stock records and all the rest of it that's going to be later on so the first plan is second hand records we've got loads of and then new stuff and all the rest of it it's very, very exciting this has got like a lot of carpenters um let's see this one the carpenters with a very strange like flap opening it up which is which is very nice tom jones you know Woo! oh good look there's more tom jones look at how look how young that tom jones is got some rod stewart blondes have more fun it's funny because he's he's blonde and he's saying blondes have more fun it's a it's a phrase that's typically used against you know girl you know blonde girls but he's flipped it and uh <laughs> Talking about himself there. There's three batches, by the way, and I'm saving the best till last because actually I haven't even opened them up yet. This one I had to cart around in a blooming wheelie bag around Queen's Park. It was great fun. Second batch, much smaller. In fact, they were all little seven inches. I picked all of these up. This is about 30 singles for about tenner. In fact, 9.99. Um, but it's got some mint ones in like, I really want to keep some of these, but I shouldn't, so I won't. Bohemian Rhapsody by Queen, massive. Uh, foreigner. I wanna know what love is. Bon Jovi, you give love a bad name. With the B side being Let It Rock. I mean, look at this hair. What a classic. And then picture sleeve as well. I love that. Um, Eagles Hotel California, not a picture sleeve, but you know, still it's something. Um, free all right now. Status quo on here. Um, electric Light Orchestra. 
This is mental. Evil woman. Nana, nana, nana. Right, uh, final batch. Um, I haven't even opened these properly yet. In fact, I haven't even opened them at all because I haven't got space in the room to open them properly yet. Um, but you're here now, so I guess I've probably got to do it. So this is half of them. Sorry, I had to change the lighting there a little bit. Uh, yeah, so this is half of them. Let's, they're very nicely packaged together. Let's, um, let's see what happens. Don't know if you can see this, but this is the Style Council. Bruce, you got the boss there, classic. Box number one, bag number two. You got Abba. You got uh, whatever that is. The Shadows, greatest hits. Wow, 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 um, oh shit, Elvis Presley, innit? Basically, whenever you do these kind of big job lots, like, there's gonna be some good ones, and then there's gonna be some bad ones, so I'm just trying to get myself through the bad ones. The Human League, Dare, another gatefold, beautiful example, really <laughs> such good condition, ah! Box number one, bag number three, uh, Johnny Cash, a really nice, Really good condition, Johnny Cash, Crosby, Stills, Nash, The Ventures, Little Richard, David Essex. <laughs> the thing is, yeah, um, here's why I'm like so cool and calm about like, you know, when people start businesses, they tend to be like, oh god, what if it doesn't work? What if there's this and that? If this goes wrong and no one buys my records, yeah, then at the very least, I've got a David Essex record. Amazing. Hall and Oats. I'm going to be selling a Hall and Oats record. <gasps> yes, mate. Fleetwood Mac. Rumours. It's a classic. Everyone, and it's a really good condition classic. Yes! Ah! It has got the original inner with the lyrics and everything. And that's in really good condition. Amazing. Let's have a look at the record itself. That's in excellent condition. Oh. Yes! Come on! All of this massive job lot, if all the rest of them were terrible, the fact that I have got an excellent, I mean like excellent plus condition Fleetwood Mac rumours, yeah? Which I really want to keep for myself, but I can't because obviously, you know, I just can't do that. Oh. i tell you what though, that's only box one. See what box two's got to offer. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, that's my first real batch of records that I'm going to try and sell. Pretty excited. Um, there's lots to do to them. Um, I'm gonna kind of clean them up, make sure that they're the best that they can be. Really exciting. Um, so there's gonna be another video next week um, where I'm gonna hopefully try and sort some other stuff out. Uh, yeah, join me for it. Subscribe if you want. If you don't want to, I don't really care, yeah? Because ever since YouTube was like, no, you can't even make any ad money off this. I'm, I don't care, YouTube, yeah? You can do what you want. I don't, if I never get to them that magical thousand things, I don't care, man. I don't need to monetize my videos, man. I've got a job. I don't need to monetize them. I'm doing this for fun. Um, oh, wow, I'm getting all really emo. I'm gonna have to get this cut. I am really gonna have to get this cut. Um, but uh, yeah, so, oh, let's get on my eye. Thanks for watching, yeah? I'll, um, I'll see you next week, yeah?